Louisville students prepare to return to in-person classes next week. Police wait and wonder whether it will reveal a horrifying and hidden reality of this pandemic. Tonight, Chris Williams is looking into the underlying concerns about child victims during the pandemic and why a return to school may see a flood of reports. The playgrounds are silent, crosswalks clear for passing drivers, classrooms empty for a full year. And in an unassuming building near downtown, detectives wonder about whether that quiet will bring with it a rush of reports. Some of the children do not have a voice, and our mission in this unit is to get justice for these children. Behind the badge in the LMPD Crimes Against Children's Unit is the big heart of Detective Michelle Rush. We are anticipating an increase in reports when children go back to school because they're back in that environment where they feel safe and they're with people that they trust. And it's gonna be easier for teachers, bus drivers, and staff to see the outward signs of abuse and the behaviors of the children. A former social worker who joined the department specifically for this role, Detective Rush has seen the stats. Early on during the pandemic, many states recorded double digit percentage drops in calls to child abuse hotlines. In their annual report, Kentucky Youth Advocates cited the Kentucky Department of Community-Based Services statistics. From March 1st through June 30, 2020, Kentucky experienced a 29% decrease in reports compared to 2019. Intakes from school personnel dropped 70%. While the unit has continued to work the types of crimes no one wants to hear about, they prepare for what everyone suspects is waiting. Away from the eyes and ears of caring school officials trained to sense telltale signs, disconnected from the friends they may trust with a secret, advocates and investigators worry crimes against children have likely been underreported for a year. So I anticipate that once children are in their element, they're going to have a safe space to report. And unfortunately, there will be something to report. Nicole Carroll stands alongside victims of a wide range of crimes, serving as the director of LMPD's Victim Services Unit. People in general are very isolated right now, so I would anticipate that there's a lot of, a lot of interpersonal violence happening, um, potentially more so than, than there was prior to the pandemic, simply because people are working from home, people aren't going anywhere. Added pressures of job loss and fears of an uncertain future, she says, increased risks. Director Carroll offered this advice for handling reports of abuse to anyone a child may trust to confide in. Remain calm, assure them that it's not their fault, um, that they didn't do anything wrong. Um, reassure them that um, you're there to help, that you're glad they trusted you with this information. Um, offer comfort, you know, um, ensure them that they are safe and you are safe. Uh, and then, you know, tell the child you can't keep the information secret. You have to be transparent with them. Um, you're glad they trusted you, but it's time to bring this information forward. Guys, I'm a mom myself. I have children. So it does tug on the heartstrings, but it motivates us because at the end of the day, our, our mission here is to get justice for these children and to keep them safe the best we can. If you know of a child who's become a victim, you can call 911. There are other reporting options, including the Child Advocacy Center, Victim Services Unit, and the State Child Protection Branch. We have numbers for all those right now at whas11.com. Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.